Hello, some of you have asked me to be more informative, so in this video I'm going to take the lame idea and uh, rebuild my Trabant carburetor. First of all, I'd like to say I'm sorry for not showing my face in this video. I generally talk with my hands anyway, so it'll be okay, but last night I got into a, a knife fight and my face took a brunt of the injury. In fact, some of it, it feels like it's, it, it's kind of still stuck there. I think I got a little piece. Oh, it itches so much. Oh! Oh, oh, sorry about that. Okay, first of all, what is a carburetor? This is too basic and you should know. First of all, you have to get the carburetor off. Done. So the next step is, let's examine this thing, all right? This right here is a straw in case it gets thirsty. Let's just take that off because there's no water around here. This... Okay, sometimes you have to use the proper tools. <laughs> okay, uh, well, that, the straw is gone now. If it gets thirsty, too bad. You may have noticed this is in a plate, and that is in case I get hungry later and decide to eat it. Already a piece has fallen off. I don't know what this is from. It looks like a seal of some sort. It is definitely not a walrus. By the way, I had to order these from Germany. These are all the seals and, and octopi that uh, came for rebuilding the carburetor. Some seals in here. Now let's just let's just take it out and look at it, shall we? Oh, these are delicate parts. This right here, this is this is a miniature keg because this car was, of course, made in German. E, and and uh, this is where they kept the beer. You gotta have beer in all of the crevices in a German car. It's just required by law over there. And this on here, this right here, this little thing, this is the spout for drinking the beer out of. Now, granted, you cannot hold much beer, so it's generally a good idea to hold concentrated beer in here. This is this is a, a, a thing. Here's some seals and gaskets. Yeah, whatever, this is boring. And there's a lot of much smaller little bitty o-rings and seals that go on the inside. But let's get cracking on this thing. Tools. Woo. Right, let's undo this thing. This looks like a good start. The top of the of the fuel chamber hole. Wow, that was really loose. I'm not adjusting the right thing. And, I don't have a wrench that small. It's always best to use the proper tools. For taking off small nuts, I, f I find it best to use scissors. So here we go. Ah, see? Perfect. Oh my god, are you serious? No wonder that nut was so loose. It was being used as a washer, a spacer. By the way, many of you have asked me what a jump cut is, so I devised a demonstration with this. See, this is a jump cut. You start at one end of the paper, and then magically you're all the way to the end of the paper. That's a jump cut. Now back to the carburetor. Try, to keep me, try not to keep me distracted, okay? One thing to note, if you don't have the proper tools, it's always good to use improper tools. The old float is very dirty. That means the Trabant will be no longer amphibious, so we need to replace that with the new uh, tiny beer keg. Also gotta replace the float valve in here. This controls the flow if it gets too full. Oh wait, hold on, I'm being informative. I gotta stop that. And now that you have the basics down, it's good to show you how to completely finish the rest of it. So all you have to do is take a piece of paper like so, fold it in half, making sure to get it incredibly dirty with your fingers, and then unfold it, and then cover your carburetor with it, like that. Now repeat after me. Dein Motto ist ein Schweizer Schweiner! Dein Motto ist ein Schweizer Schweiner! Dein Motto ist ein Schweizer Schweiner! And bam! You have a rebuilt carburetor right here. I know, it's, it's fantastic. It just rebuilds itself. The Germans, they just really know how to make good technology. I hope this video was as informative for you as it was for me. If you follow these steps step by step at home, you'll probably end up with a four minute long video, just like I did. Good day.